Hi, David Erdos with a Christmas message for you. Um, I'll try and get through this um, as I have that awful bug which is going around England at the moment um, and is getting worse every day. The Great Escape. The Great Escape's on again. I was watching it as I wrote this. For some years in the schedules it has not been on Christmas Day, just used as a herald perhaps, a tradition anticipating tradition. As the brave soldiers smoulder and Hans Mesmer's coy commandant poignantly infers he'll give way. But there is a sense of absence today, stripped as it is of occasion. So seeing it here placed dead centre signifies the decay of what we have come to expect from the shape of the dreams drawn within us, or from the villainous verve which reduces as these long-lost heroes put their bravery on display. And yet the film holds a theory of mine. It is a manual for the times we are living. In its simple setup, we see how survival can be bibled and bound in a flick, which contains the Odysseus trail, complete with Herculean star labour, as the very earth is remodelled and the exodus happens thanks to the art of editing's seamless trick. Steve McQueen's golden hair is the grail for which all of Faith's future soldiers are searching. James Garner's square-jawed dignity is a Jesus, as well as Samaritan, dirty saint and miracle bringer, while Richard Attenborough's inner demons are writhing as Bartlett Big X stands for pain. Donald Pleasance's pluck, expertise and the human genomes twitch and flicker, while Charles Bronson's tunnel trauma shows how all strength can be Samsoned and that when the human spirit feels fragile, there is something left in what shattered that only the engine of flesh fully gains. Angus Lenny as Ives manages to be mental health and religion. David McCullum is martyr, literally throwing his body down before trains. Gordon Jackson is dogs, faithful and true, love and country. And James Donald is time, ruefully watching over, observer, soothsayer, and a form of Third Testament God, free from blame. In short, the great escape is a tract, and perhaps creativity's truest title. For we are all looking for it as we work through our forms, and yes, live. We do not know what it means, as it could stand for both death and Mabea, and yet we all scamper for it, as with each sin set, we forgive. Be that Garner's theft or James Coburn's accent. Supply and demand are depicted, as is the cynical stance and belief. There is unity here, fraternity, liberation, communism in theory and the perseverance born out of grief. There is adventure and love, politics, war and division. Von Luger's trapped soul is pilot and they're subdued throughout time. And there is horror here too, and the reason and treason of leaders. Where then can our moral motorbike take us if we are to reach the border or Switzerland's neutral sign? The Great Escape is movie as myth, and it appears like Shangri-La every Christmas. Today it was product dumped in a box to fill space. And yet watching it, as I have done every year now since childhood, is to remind me of the much needed things we can't trace. Such as what hope really means, alongside belonging's true definition, or what it is which surrounds us and what can be worn on the face. Defiance, design, or the ability to resist premonition. For when we do, like John Sturges, we can direct ourselves towards the guard towers, not of a camp, but Olympus, or if not Olympus, an Eden, or a new Jerusalem, or Atlantis. If that rose once more, I'd be captive. I would be a prisoner there. Watch me run and swim. Humans, race. For the people's prison goes on, and we still share Steve's isolation but he was warmed in that cooler. So put your hands to the wall, friends. Embrace. David Erdos, December the 25th, 
2022. Happy Christmas and may your God go with you.